Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today I'm gonna to bring you a quick review on a new product that just launched by Urban Decay and it's their new all-nighter waterproof setting powder. It looks like this, really sleek packaging, really, really cute. I love the silver packaging. Now, as soon as I saw this launching, I was just like eagerly waiting and I went to Sephora and picked it up right away. I think there was only like one or two left. So I was so excited because I love the Urban Decay line. I love their all-nighter line, their foundation concealer, and of course, their awesome setting spray. So I knew that all those other products are bomb, so this definitely has to be bomb. So I'm gonna let you know my uh, recommendations and everything like that because I have been trying it for a week and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Now, the compact itself is really cute. This is what the compact looks like. Um, really, really sleek. It's got like some little kind of fake water droplets throughout the top. I don't know if you can see that. Nice and sleek and slender, so easy to put in your purse and just like when you go to use it, it's just gorgeous packaging. Um, it's got the mirror inside here and the color of the translucent powder is like more of a, like of a peachy, beigey undertone to it. So the box says, make your makeup last through the night with our all-nighter waterproof setting powder. It feels like nothing, yet instantly sets foundation, controls shine, and creates a blown out effect. And how you use it is just say, apply on top of your foundation. And what, what I found interesting that was kind of a red flag for me was it says our translucent shade lights up nearly every skin tone. So it says nearly, so I was just like, Mm, okay, the color of it, it should be able to suit every skin tone, but you never know until you wear this stuff. So, straight off the bat, the powder is super, super silky soft. So that just says it probably gives you that poreless effect that, you know, blurs out fine lines and your pores and everything like that. And the color, it definitely, I would say, is translucent. You guys won't be able to see it if I swatched it. It does fade, but I find that it leaves like a tiny, just a tiny, slight cast. Um, so I was just like, mm, bit iffy. I guess, you know, if you try it on, you buff it into your skin, um, maybe it'll go away. So I tried this recently. I've been trying it for a week, like I said, and unfortunately, this is a no for me. Um, I love their all-nighter stuff, but this is a no, and here's the reason why. This shade um, alters your foundation, for me at least, and I found that there is a kind of like a tan color to it when you use this, and I've seen a couple of other bloggers YouTube about this, and even someone that was way on the light to medium skin tone, she said that it kind of left a little bit of a, a tan color. So I was like, okay, that's pretty dead on because it did the same for me. And I found that it changed the color of my foundation. I actually saw it sitting on my skin, like the color was not translucent on my skin, that it was more like, you know, if you want to clean up your contour, you can put it down on the lower parts of your face. So I definitely still saw the powder on my skin. So those, I was just like, eh. And does it blur? I didn't found that it blurred out my fine lines or my pores. And unfortunately, it didn't control my oil. It actually made me more oily. Um, and I was like, really? I'm like, that surprises me because their all-nighter line is very, very good. But um, this is a no for me. I didn't like it at all. And I was, I'm kind of pretty sad about it because, you know, packaging's cute. Why would you not want to have a powder that makes all your foundations waterproof? Like I've got some other foundations that are not long wearing, but if this had worked, oh my goodness, it would have been so awesome, especially for the new um, NARS Radiant long wear foundation. That's an awesome foundation, which I love, but it transfers a lot. So I was hoping that this would have been the trick to make that thing last all day, and unfortunately, it doesn't. But, like I say in my reviews, this is strictly my review. It didn't uh, work for me, this is my thoughts. Definitely try it if you guys are interested, because what works and doesn't work for me may work for you or may not work for you. So, but I always like to, you know, share things I try, because a lot of you um, have messaged me on Instagram and asked me to actually talk about products that I actually like and uh, refer them to you. So definitely a miss. Pretty, pretty shocked about it, because this would have been awesome. Like, I'm, 
I'm so in love with the packaging. It's so sleek and sleek and cool. But no, I found my foundation definitely looked different when I applied it and I became more oily. So, you know, I recommend you guys go try it at least, you know, see if I'm accurate. I would love to know your thoughts. If you do try it, please comment down below and let me know like, hey, Trey, you were wrong. This stuff is bomb or yeah, you're right. I always like to know your guys' feedback. Anyways, that's my quick review for you guys. I've got more exciting stuff coming in the works for you guys and you guys take care and we'll talk again soon. Bye.